Hey, it's your man Charlie P. In this video, we're going to talk about how to customize your MT4 chart to look exactly like mine. That way, when I start teaching strategies, it'll be a lot easier for you to follow along. First, we're going to get rid of some stuff that I don't use on here. Then we're going to talk about how to install indicators and templates. So let's jump into it. First thing I'm going to do uh, a lot of these options up here. I don't mess with them. So I want to get rid of anything that I don't use so that when I go to look for things that I do use, I'm not having to sift through like a bunch of clutter, basically. So first thing I want to do these this row, I'm sorry, this uh vertical line of, of dashes or whatever, just right click on that. Click on customize. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of most of the stuff we're looking at right here. Um, new order meta editor register a virtual server register as a signal i don't use none of that stuff so let's, let me click back on new order and what you're going to do is just click the remove button remove it now it's on meta editor remove it remove that next one remove that one and then we're also going to remove the strategy tester okay i don't use none of that stuff um now i don't know if yours automatically went to looking like this but uh, if not, how you would get back to it is just again, right click on that and hit customize. All right. Uh, the next thing that I want to get rid of is profiles. I don't need that. Um, uh, data window don't need that. And now we can, uh, close out of that. I'm sorry. And new chart. I don't need that. New chart can go now close out of that. Then you want to click on this these dashes right here and we're going to get rid of some more stuff so it's customize right click and customize you can get rid of uh tile windows you can get rid of the indicators and the periods close that now you're going to come down to the second row right click and customize and let's see we can get rid of the Exquidistant channel. That word is hard to say. Exquidistant, ex, 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 whatever. Get rid of that thing. Get rid of a uh, text label and get rid of the arrows. I don't use none of that stuff. And now we're good to go. The rest of this stuff, I, I will click on every now and then for what for one reason or another. So this is about how your chart should look. Um, Let's see. The next thing that I would recommend doing is you see over here how I can't see the the totality of the currency pairs. Go ahead and uh, hover your mouse to where you see the, that little arrow, that double arrow. Click and hold it and drag over to the right a little bit. Once you do that, now we can see the whole currency pair. Um, let me X out of this right quick too. The next thing you want to do is notice how the currency pairs stop right here and you can't see anything. It's just blank down here. It's not showing you all the options. So right click anywhere in here. It doesn't matter where just right click somewhere and hit show all. Now notice the list got a lot longer and I can scroll down a long way. Now I've got all the options for all. If I want to trade indices, if I want to trade stocks, whatever the case, I don't trade none of that stuff. I'm just letting you know it's there. And I do actually keep, I always hit show all just out of habit. So hit show all. Um, next thing that you're going to want to do is let's click out of every chart except one. Cause I only need one chart while I do this. And then when you have one chart left, go ahead and maximize it so that we can we can be looking at the same thing okay that's pretty much the preliminary stuff uh let's go ahead and start installing indicators and templates now this part right here before i even click anything else you're gonna want to potentially skip ahead and do a bulk download when we download these indicators and templates do not bulk download it i have some uh there should be two links in my video description. There are two links in my video description. One is for my Google Drive 
to my indicators. The other one is also to my Google Drive, to my templates. All right, so go ahead and open both of those Google Drive links and they're gonna look something like this. My indicators and then again, and then open that templates one. And what we're gonna do, like there's three of them. I know that there's an option to download all, like you just download everything at one time. Don't do that because it's gonna put it in a zip folder. And then once you extract it from the zip folder, for some reason, it messes up the, the settings that I have, uh, that, I've, that I've applied to them. So just go ahead and download each individual one. Uh, it only takes a few seconds, so don't, don't be lazy. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that first one and start downloading one by one. Download that one. The MM Sessions, download it. TMA Center, download it. All right, make sure all three show up. If so, go ahead and go to templates, hit the default template, download it, and the reassurance chart and download it. All right, now if you see all five down here, then you should be able to go to your downloads folder on your computer and see all five things that we just downloaded here. What I would recommend doing at this point is go to your documents and create a folder, which I mean, I've already done this, but I'm just redoing all this as if I was, you know, so you can see the whole process. But go ahead, right click and create a new folder. Just label it something like, uh, you know, trading templates and indie indicators or indies, something like that. All right. Uh, go back to your downloads. Go ahead and highlight everything that you just did, copy it, and go back to that folder. Let's see, trading templates and indies, this one I just made, and then paste it in there. The reason I would recommend doing it this way, even though it's in your downloads, you're more than likely gonna be downloading, you know, a bunch of other stuff just throughout the life of your, uh, your computer usage. Let's say six months from now, you need to download a different MT4 chart for another company. Maybe you decide to get uh, try to get funded with a, a prop firm or you use a different broker for whatever reason. When you go to want to get these indicators and templates again, instead of you having to scroll all the way through your downloads, trying to find where you did it, it's easier to just go to your documents and already know, hey, it's, it's always going to be in my folder right here in this doc in my documents or whatever. So it's just a little bit more organized i guess but anyway uh at this point what you want to do is go ahead and highlight your indicators so let's uh the indicators are going to be the elis fisher the sessions and the tma center bands right click and copy all of those and now let's go back to your mt4 chart and you're going to Click on file, open data folder, double click MQL4, and then double click indicators. Right click anywhere in here and just hit paste. And now you just pasted those three indicators. Now you're gonna hit the backspace twice, bam, bam. And then you're gonna double click into templates. All right, once you get into templates, go ahead and highlight all of these because I don't use none of these templates that come with the uh, MT4 when you download it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all these and delete all of these. All right, get them things out of my face. Then I'm gonna go back to my documents, uh, the folder that I put the stuff in, and I want the default template and I want the reassurance chart template. I'm gonna copy those. I'm gonna backspace to get backspace twice to get back to uh, where I was and I'm gonna paste my uh, templates in here. Now, if you get lost for whatever reason and you can't remember how to get back, like if that backspace and twice didn't put you back there, then just remember it's file, open data folder. If you're trying to get into the indicators, you're gonna go into MQL4 and indicators, or uh, you can just double click on templates if you're trying to get to that part. But if everything 
installed correctly, then you should be able to click out of that. You're going to want to click right here where it says templates and you should see default and reassurance chart right there. Go ahead and click default and your chart should transform into looking exactly like this. If for whatever reason your chart doesn't look like this, uh, there are two complaints that I have gotten in the past where some people, for whatever reason, the Elis Fisher didn't show up. That's this bold green line down here. So let's just pretend that for whatever reason you didn't get the Elis Fisher. Uh, I'm just going to knock it off my chart. If you didn't get the Elis Fisher, no problem. The main thing I would recommend doing is clicking this, uh, this right here, this, this navigator button, go to your indicators and right click and hit refresh. Now it's not going to work for me now because I purposely deleted it, but I do remember one time it didn't show up for me. I did that right click and refreshed and it showed up. If that doesn't work, don't panic. We'll just do it manually. Uh, click this plus sign right here next to indicators. Scroll down in a little bit till you find Elis Fisher. You're going to single click it and just uh, or like hold the click and drag it over and just drop it right down here. And it needs to drop specifically here in this area. Don't drop it up here nowhere. Drop it down here. And it's going to throw it on top of that. All right. Now, I know the color doesn't look the same. No problem. But let's let's fix it. So double click somewhere on that bold gray line. And the only thing you're going to do is change the color. So go to the colors tab, double click dim gray, hit that arrow and let's go to dark green. Then double click this one right here, hit the arrow and none because I don't want no color on that. And then you should have it. But this, I use the default settings as far as the Elis, Elis Fisher is concerned. But uh, if it doesn't show up, that's how you fix that. The other complaint has been these dotted lines. That's my TMA centered bands. These four dotted lines, two on top and then these two on the bottom. Uh, all of these have each uh, four of these dotted lines have different settings. So if those don't show up uh, again, find the you would have to go in here and click on the uh, find the TMA centered bands, which let me move myself out the way. You would just find the TMA centered bands. You, you know, you would drag it on to the to the middle if you needed to. And then here are the settings. So I'm going to actually click on each individual one. You're going to go to the inputs. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can see everything. And here are all the settings for the top line. Just pause and take note of these settings if you need to. And uh, and that's how we'll do that. So that's the top line. If you need the settings for this one, again, pause, just do what you need to do. Here's this, the settings for this line here, and then the settings for the bottom line. If you need that, pause it and do what you do. All right. Now at that point, you should have everything looking exactly like mine does. Um, all right. At this point, I'm done with this whole navigator screen right here. So let me exit out of that. And now what we need to do is just get all the currency pairs that we're planning to trade. Cause right now we just have the Euro USD chart. I trade multiple currency pairs. So let's pull up the rest of the charts that I normally trade. Um, go ahead and click on the Euro JPY, right click it and hit chart window. Now notice down here. Now we see two, we see the Euro USD and now we see Euro JPY It's popped up for us. Um, we want to get the Euro CAD. So let's find Euro CAD is down here again, right click, hit chart window. We want uh, GBP USD that's right here. And these might be in different spots on yours. Hopefully not, but just look for them. Uh, GBP JPY, GBP CAD. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Uh, USD CAD. USD JPY. And then the next one is going to be gold. We need to scroll down a little bit for that. That's going to be a XAU USD. This one right here, XAU USD. And then you want to hit chart window. All right. Let me scroll on back up. All right. So these, now you should have a full row of currency pairs. 
But that's it. I think I covered everything, but if I didn't, if I missed something or you ran into any issues, just leave a comment and I will address it. On the next video, what we're gonna talk about is every single thing on this chart, what does it mean? If you're looking at this and you're overwhelmed, you're like, I still don't know what I'm looking at. That's all right, we are gonna go over all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna point out everything on the chart, every line, every everything and say, you know, this is what it means. This is how I use it. So check the next video if you have any questions, you know, in that regard. But all right, y'all, I'll holler at you on the next one.